Well, how can we have decent instruments if we don't really know how to play? That is why we need Eddie Van Halen. And that is why we need to try another video. I will. Excellent! Uh-oh, we're late. For what? School, dude. Oh, yeah. Bill? I'm waiting. He's dead? <laughs> so, Bill, what you're telling me is... What am I going to do with you, huh? They can't be great. To lose my keys, you fail to spend all your time with your loser. It's Saturday, fight. guys. It'll never happen. And you're not to be That's a turkey stuffing and gravy and mashed potatoes. Yes. Come to Logan. Deputy Van Halen does the station. Deputy Van Halen. I'm new, dude. Sir. Look, we found your keys. If you want them, better come. Yeah. Thanks, Rufus. You better hurry, because you don't have much time. What do you mean, Rufus? Got ten hours left. You got two hours. Huh? Yeah, you forgot to wind your watch again. Now you reminded yourself not to. Well, I better remind myself again. Dad, don't forget to wind your watch. Thanks, Rufus. Uh, well, now I will be attending Upland Law School in the fall. All right. When you get to Upland, I want you to give this to Professor Pogachevsky. Tell him that you're a friend of mine. Maybe it'll go easier on her. Thanks. Look, cops uh, can sometimes be unsympathetic, even when they don't want to be. I just want to make sure that nobody came down too hard on me last night. They were fine. Very patiently, and it will come up. Okay. And uh, not long after, they found the cancer. I'm so sorry. That must have been horrible to go through. Yeah, I, I felt helpless. I simply made them say. 
I was devastated. It took me a long time to heal. I miss her. But you know, um, love is a funny thing. You never know where you're going to find it. <laughs> um, Paige is fantastic. You are very... The stuff that dreams are made of. And if that's true, who's to say which world is green and which is reality? to him is planned. Going AWOL like she Fragments of grass, 
And these I would describe in terms of size as less than a millimeter. And the investigators found the same. Here's the problem. In February of 2011, investigators re-interviewed Shelley about Pam's case, hoping the added pressure will cause her to incriminate herself on recorded jail calls. Shelley was due for release within a few months. So I talked to Shelley for about an hour in, in the prison, not to interrogate her, just a reminder that we're still looking into this. So they had that conversation with her, and then they immediately began collecting all of her phone calls from that point. Unfortunately, investigators cannot find anything against Shelley in Backyard when Norman Cross went inside, but never came out. Although he wasn't an eyewitness, he was the next best thing, an ear witness. This is his audio tape statement to police. I heard a bunch of screams, scuffling. I heard somebody yell, well, kill me. Sorry, there wasn't much going on today. I did uh, get the organizationing done with the uh, numbers and stuff. Here, I'll show you better. See all that? for Tinkerbell. That's Captain Hook's face. Um, I am going to bed now. So, uh, yeah. Um, it has been a Saturday. It almost doesn't feel like it. I had to think for a second. <laughs> is it a Saturday? Oh, yes it is. <laughs> You know, it's like, what day is it? You know? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Um, I should take some Advil for my back here. My pain reliever, I mean. See, pain reliever. Bull greens. That's what I use. <sighs> yes, my door is locked. I find this really annoying. I have to tell my brain, sleeping brain here, look, it's locked, because if I don't, then I'll dream that somebody is walking in, they're either right here, and one time, my caseworker came in, not Kim, but she was like, hey Nora, hey Nora, and I was like laying here on my back and she's like saying something to me but I can't remember what she comes closer and still talks to me and I'm like I can't move because I'm laying there butt naked god it's so annoying dreams jeez all right so uh this is why I have to tell my brain yes it's locked don't dream about people coming in here or if they're not doing that, they come right in, turn on the TV, I hear noises like that. Or I hear two people come in here and they're talking to each other while the TV is going and running. It's crazy. I have the weirdest dreams, guys. They, they act and feel so real. That's why I'm like kind of creeped out too. I'm like, oh my god, who the hell is in here, you know? hate that. So this, uh, 
was like mac and cheese or cheese corkscrew pasta. Not bad, I used ground pepper. Alright, I'm all ready for bed. Um, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. I don't think there's anything for me to listen to, but I'll try to find something. Um, so, uh, I'll catch ya in tomorrow's vlog. It might be a little boring again because, um, I will be working on the Naked Tinkerbell canvas. I started it earlier tonight, like at, like... 738 o'clock. Um, I think I've shown it to you, and I think you kind of did see it. See, that's the start room tonight. It's like by his hat. See, this is his hat right here. Start of his hat. So I'm gonna go around his hat. I'm going to do the upper left. They said if you're right-handed, do the upper left and then work your way down to the left and then work your way forward and to the right. And I had to get a better end on this because I don't know what was wrong. It was like the other one I was using. It was too grubby and it didn't want to pick it up. The beads. I was getting frustrated with that. So I dug into this bag and I found that clean one. Alright. So I'm going to take off my glasses now and my bracelet. And go to bed. Oops, I'm forgetting this light over here. garbage. My bag was like in there yet. Fresh bag. It's dark in here. I need my way around. No need to worry again, brain. My door is locked. No strange dreams, please. Yeah, as I was saying, I put ground pepper on the um, pasaroni. So I like my mac and cheese. Alrighty. I like the sound of my fan being on when I fall asleep. Okay. Catch you later. And yes, I took my Advil. Ten and all. I had a strange experience at the time of my mom's death. Now, I'm in the USA, on the other side of the globe from my country of birth. It just so happened that I was visiting the next state over and staying the night in a hotel. So here I am in a nice clean hotel with fresh bedding. As I lay down in bed, I felt a sudden warm sensation on the top of my head. I was puzzled, so I ran my fingers through my hair. Then I had the distinct smell of the herbal oil my mom used as a cure-all. It's a family recipe and very difficult to find even in my home country. By this time, I knew my mom's health was declining, but hadn't yet been- He dropped the bombshell. He revealed his wife Dawn helped him to cover up the murder. She's charged as an accessory and sentenced to five years. In a cruel twist of fate, Dawn receives her mother's inheritance on her release. She knows what happened from day one, mm -hmm. you know, from the first minute. You gotta realize you're being torn apart from love and hate. You love someone and they've done something to, to hurt one of your family members. Now you, there's hate over here pulling that apart. It's your mother. I mean, she gave you life. And you can cut her up and put her in the woods.
missed a shot. Saved the flavor. Blue Moonlight Sky. She said she's been dead. She said your father killed her. But Lalana's grandmother had no proof, only suspicion. So Lalana decided to investigate her mother's disappearance on her own. I watched things, you know, on old murder investigations and scientific documentary shows and court TV and, you know, all this. I watched all that stuff out of interest to see what I could pick up, to see what I could learn. When Lalana turned...